It's not going to get done. I'm telling you this because just because an idea, something sounds cute, something sounds great, just because it warms the cockles of your soul, doesn't necessarily mean it's for you. And so if I could give you a piece of advice today, this is this is the piece of advice I want to give you, all right? So I want you to, to simmer down. I'm going to tell you this in about five minutes. Settle down, gather everybody around, tell them to come in and listen to this. Tell them, share it and put it right here at this spot, right here. All right, <clears throat> you ready? Five minutes on the clock, all right? This is what I want. I want for you to think about this. There are going to be a lot of opportunities that are going to happen in your life. There are going to be a lot of doors that are going to be open to you. There are going to be a lot of people who are like, you know what? This is something that you should do. I would like for you to say, know who you are. I would like for you to say, know exactly what it is that you do. Because the truth of the matter is, even though these doors are opening, even though these opportunities exist, even though on the surface they sound so appealing, it's like the tree of knowledge that was in the garden. It looks so beautiful. And Eve was just having a food gasm over there looking at it. It's still bad. There are a lot of good things in the world that to you are bad. And I would like to submit to you for consideration that you weigh all the options, all the ideas, everything that's going on in the world, everything that is being presented to you, weigh it, and then make sure at the end of the day, it's going to bring you happiness because if at the end of the day, it does not bring you fulfillment, you have literally just wasted your time. If at the end of the day, this does not make you happy, at the end of the day, it is not gonna send you home with that warm, fuzzy feeling on the inside, when the storms of this project blow and the winds howl, what that means is that when, when shit starts spewing and all you can smell in the room is pure shit, when that happens, are you still going to be like, I like this place? That is what I'm weighing out. Because if you don't weigh those options, if you don't look at it like that, any dream, any objective, any job, any organization, any political candidate, any whatever, if you don't look at it like that, here's what's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to be no good to yourself and you're going to be no good to the people that you're working with. And ultimately, Apart from being no good to yourself and no good to the people that you're working with, you're going to start to, A, get hated by the people that you're working with, get hated by everybody that's connected with the people that you're working with. And here's where it gets worse. Because getting hated by people is fine. That, that they come and go as eight, almost eight billion people on planet Earth. You can tell one person to go fuck off a day and not run out. That's good. But when you get hated by yourself, that's the thing right there. That's just, oh. so I like for you to take that consideration. That's what I'm thinking about. I love the organization. I would love to be a part up here. But is it the same thing in here? Something about it, ain't it. I'll leave you to it, whatever's in your world. 
Ah, let me go on ahead and share that.